Okay, so in this video, what we're gonna do is gonna talk about how to stay down and cover the golf ball. This is something that I get loads of questions about. I'm always looking at the YouTube comments as well and trying to make sure when I'm creating content, it's answering a lot of the question that you guys are asking. And it's something that obviously when people come through this door for lessons or reach out for help online, they again are asking a lot of questions about how to do these moves. So first of all, let's just clarify exactly what we mean. So staying down, is maybe a little easier to sort of understand. It basically just means when we get in our posture, we will create a sort of you know bend of the hip and staying down would basically mean when we hit the ball, we are staying in that same sort of posture angle. It, you know, if you imagine you stand up, then obviously that's standing up, that's staying down. So that's the first thing which you're gonna understand exactly how to do that. The second thing, which I get a lot of questions about as well, is covering the ball. Now, I think the best way to sort of picture what covering the golf ball means is if you imagine the club relationship to your sternum, so my sort of zipper, is a pendulum motion. Okay, so if I sort of just let this club go, you can see that if I get my sternum over the ball, then I'm gonna have a good chance of the club striking down in the location of the ball. If my sternum's behind it, then the club is gonna be rising. So we need to find a way to get a good blend of both those motions. We need to make sure that we are covering the ball, but also covering the ball while staying down. Now, as ever, like I try to do in these videos, let's do it one thing at a time. So I always think students respond best to that when we do one thing. So the first thing that we're gonna concentrate on is covering the ball. So the way we're gonna cover the golf ball is we're gonna make some short swings, but we're just gonna to move to the lead side. Now, in my opinion, when I meet a lot of golfers that have watched some of the content, they underestimate how much to the lead side you really need to be moving, okay? So if you're somebody who thinks, oh, that's, that's enough, and you notice that your contact point is coming too early, then obviously you need to really be moving much more to the lead side so you feel like all of that weight pressure is moving left. And a great indication would be if you can make half a swing, okay, where you're getting the club to strike down in the same point each and every time, that would mean that you are finding a way to get your sternum over the golf ball, okay? And that would be the first thing that we wanna do. Now, the second thing that we need to start to do, okay, is because covering the golf ball is great if we can do this, but we can, e we can easily feel a bit stuck and a bit hunched. So whilst we're covering the ball, we need to start introducing an element of rotation. So personally speaking, I like to flare the foot. And the reason for that is because when we watch professional golfers, what they do is they might have feet positions which are roughly perpendicular to target, but when they hit the ball, you'll often see that they'll sort of, you know, supinate the foot or they'll spin the foot around the toe. So, and I'm not a massive lover of that for most amateurs. I think we don't tend to produce enough sort of force to kind of, you know, use the ground similar to maybe what a pro is. So I personally think it makes much more sense to just flare that leg, okay? Because to trigger rotation, what needs to happen, I need to shift my weight into that lead side, but I need to move my upper part of my lead leg, my belt buckle, my chest, and my spine in terms of its rotation towards the target. Okay, now if I can do that, so I now start introducing this sensation of covering the ball, so I'm moving to this lead side whilst I then rotate, what this now means is that as opposed to earlier before the rotation, there was no space for my arms and they'd end up pulling up. Now I have some space for my arms. Okay, like so, right, this type of motion here. Now, if you can do that, that would now mean that you have the ability to cover the ball, which means you're gonna control your low point, get your good contact every time, and you should also be able to double whammy that by keeping your arms relatively straight in the bottom part of the swing, which again is gonna give us consistency in that contact area. So, if we can do that, now how does it look in terms of staying in posture or staying over the ball? And this is where the area that most amateur golfers I think get lost. I see a lot of golfers that are trying to stay over the ball by doing things like this. That won't work because it's gonna upset the sequence into the golf swing. What's happening, when we look at a professional golfer or somebody who has an ability to stay in posture, they're not really sort of downward facing. The chest would be pointing more towards the sort of target region, the lower body would be as well. Okay, and um, you can see the way if I get set up and mimic a sort of impact area, you can see I'm not actually facing down towards the ground, I'm actually facing much more upward, right, than that. So the key move that we're looking for here 
when it comes to the ability to stay in posture. It's not really this sort of staying down, looking down perspective. In fact, it's kind of not that at all. What you really need to be doing is understanding the importance of tilt. And what this means is, from the face on perspective, when my lower body and my pelvis is moving to the left side, so to my left side, so to your lead side, as long as I keep my head still, what it does is it starts to produce a tilt. So the more I exaggerate that, meaning the more my lower body moves to the lead side and the more my head stays still, the more tilt angle becomes produced and so on and so on, right? Which is why there are examples of some tour pros that are quite literally down here. It's because that goes this way and this stays back this way. Now, you obviously don't need to contort yourself, but that's the first thing to understand. So when I move my lower body to my lead side and keep my head still, and then I introduce rotation. This helps me get my weight pressure in towards my lead heel. And if I can do those motions whilst keeping my head still, then that is gonna give you that ability to stay in posture. So if I made a couple of swings here towards you, can you see what I'm doing here? See, I'm facing towards you, right? Which would be roughly, I'd be in that type of position just after post impact. So you can see where my body is aiming in relationship to the ground. but because this stays back like so and my head stays still it produces this tilt which gives me this ability to stay over the ball so again from this perspective it's this way okay so the important thing to take out of this that i think is the reason why golfers struggle with this ability to stay over the golf ball is because you don't move enough to the lead side and arguably you're not possibly triggering enough rotation as well the easiest way to do this is to mimic what i've done in this video Start allowing this upper part, this lead leg to face towards the target. Don't underestimate how much the weight needs to move. And when you're sort of hitting the ball, you really put an emphasis of it moving in towards that lead heel. And as long as your head stays still, you should feel like some of the weight stays in between your lead heel and your trail toe. And having that ability will give you the blend of best of both. You'll be able to stay down, which is gonna help you massively with things like your golf swing, but also having that ability to cover the golf ball is gonna give you much better contact each and every time. Now, eventually, you can obviously just do it longer. So you swing back, I come down, see what I'm doing here, like so. See my head stays still and my body moves left and that's what produces what's known as an element of separation, but more importantly, that's what gives give us that ability to stay down over the golf ball. So. Let me know, hopefully that helps. Break it down, make sure that you understand contact first and then try and get that sort of feeling of rotating whilst keeping that head still and that will produce that tilted motion which will give you that sort of elusive ability to stay down over the ball. See you soon.